Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and run Windows 95 on your HD2. The first thing you need to do is download the two files in the description. QEMU WM7Z and Win95 OSR 27 z Once you've downloaded these files, place them on your desktop so it's easy to remember where they are. And plug your HDC, HD2 device into your computer. Select disk drive when the prompt pops up on the screen and then go into my computer double click onto your storage card and then go to the files that you downloaded from the description right click QEMU WM7 and extract the files to the root directory of your storage card so I'm just going to do that now click OK wait for it to extract it's done now uh, now all you need to do is go to win95 osr extract that into your storage card also but this time into the qemu folder and then into the emu folder click ok let it extract Right now that the files have extracted, you can unplug your device and I'll show you what to do from there. Right, now you've got all the files on your device, you're going to need to uh, move some of the folders around a bit. So, go to File Explorer, go into your storage card, and locate the QEMU folder. Go into the EMU folder and you'll see that your win 95 osr2 folders there don't know if you can see that uh, just there right go into that and on yours there will be another folder inside that called win 95 osr2 um, what you're going to need to do is tap and hold on that folder and cut and paste so that when you go into the emu folder there's only one folder that says win95 osr and then when you go into the win95 osr folder there's just these three files here once you've done that you're going to go into the qemu launcher and you should see that your image location is located at the top says you can set the scale here, the orientation and whether to use swap files or not so I'm just going to click launch and it should start up Windows 95 right now we've launched into Windows 95 if you look at the keyboard it's a bit small and it's a bit hard to handle at the moment but I think that some people are trying to develop over the XDA forums uh, an easier to use keyboard um, if you look in the top right of the keyboard there's a little X and that's actually full screen so if you tap that there we go you'll get a full screen application like this I'll just show you some of the stuff I'm going to go into start menu hopefully programs accessories and paint and here it is paint on my HD2 running Windows 95 if you do want to download it, remember the two links are in the description. Follow my instructions and it should work fine. If you've got any problem, leave some comments in the comment section. Remember, if you like the video, don't forget to rate, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.